Stand by. Hang on. Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Here we go. All right, we got to go to town. We got to go to town. Need to toss in soda dope. Toss in telephone. Open door. Jerk. Seat cover. Back on to seats. Not tied enough. Need to fix that sometime. Whatever. Throw keys in. Get ass in without rolling seat cover. Under ass. There we go. We're in. We're in the old girl. Find the key to it. And we've already had this out. Or had this running today, so this ain't a cold start. We're gonna start it up anyhow. Knock it out of gear. It's been an hour or two. It's about 70 out here today. Let's see if it starts, turn that noise off. Oh, been too long, tap key. Let's There we go. Anyway, let's get it. See? Yeah, I told y'all the oil pressure gauge is crazy on this truck. You see it? I think I showed it in another video where it was uh, showing nothing. It wasn't even showing any pressure at all. And now look at it. It's climbing. See, I let off of it. It's idling. Let's rev it up. You get where I'm going with this? It, it don't it don't react period sometimes it works sometimes it don't sometimes it reacts sometimes it don't I, I think it's got the sender for an idiot light in it that's what I really think it is I think it's got a sender for an idiot light idiot light it's just kind of on and off that's what it seems to me like so basically it's running high oil pressure now as it's cold and it warms up it's running lower but enough to change the because you know the idiot lights an on off switch and uh, this is a variable voltage so you know it could do anything crazy I don't really know but but see, it's got fantastic, absolutely fantastic oil pressure. But anyway, I'm getting a call from this individual right here. Yeah, there's his name. He's a Packerhead. Give him hell on Facebook. Yellow!